Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, I have an instance created on my EC2 dashboard with a tag name called Jenkins Windows. So yes, topic for today is how you can use or configure Jenkins on top of Windows platform. Till date, I have used Linux platform to run Jenkins and using it on Windows is also quite similar and easy. So let's do that. Now, in order to configure Jenkins on Windows, we will have to install Java because it is a Java dependent application. I have already downloaded JDK and JRE on my EC2 instance. The next step is to install. I'm going to share the link from where you can download JDK and JRE and you can install step by step on your EC2 instances. Okay, so this is my EC2 instance and those two installable are present in my C drive temp folder. So let me go ahead and install JRE first. And again, the version that Jenkins is compatible with as per best of my uh, memory, it is Java 8 and Java 11. So let's try to install JRE first. This will be going to take bit of time because uh, I have taken an instance which is T2 medium. Okay, change the destination folder. I just want to see the destination folder which is in program files, perfect. Next, this will be going to install Java for you inside C program files Java folder. This will be kind of a quick process now. And again, as per the industry process, you should know how you can use multiple flavors of your OS platform to integrate with your Jenkins, right? It's not necessary to use everywhere as Linux platform or Linux level kernels to use Jenkins. Use this and we'll do the same for JDK. Run as admin. Okay, here is the... UI next I'm going with the features every features that what we have click next copying new files extracting installer and we are done yep now if you go to C drive program files inside Java you will see JDK and JRE now the next step before installing our Jenkins environment, I just want to set this up as with an environment variable. So for that, click on this PC, right click on this PC, go to properties, then advanced system settings, environment variables. Here, we'll be going to create a new system variable, which we called as Java underscore home and the value will be browse the directory this pc okay c drive program files java jdk perfect click ok and next i just want to include that in the path variable as well so click edit click new uh, okay click browse again C program files Java JDK and give the bin folder. Okay. Click OK, OK, and done. So the environment variable has been set perfectly fine. And this you can see I'm working on 2019 data center windows. Next step is to install Jenkins. So before that, we have to download Jenkins. For that, this is the URL jenkins.io slash download. Now here we get two versions. One is LTS, which is long-term support, and one is regular release, which is weekly. So I'm going with the stable release, which is LTS. Now, if you scroll it down, and you will see all the flavors of OS and Docker version as well. So click on Windows. So Jenkins has been downloaded. Let me try to run this. 
click on install next it's going under program files Jenkins click next now here is an option where you want to run it as a domain user or a local user which is recommended or you can run it as a local system so as of now I don't have any domain user created with my account so I'm going to run it as local system user click next port 8080 test this that's the default port that Jenkins run on and you can change this port as well okay click next it's taking the JDK path click next now I just want to have my firewall included the rules and exception will be get included in the firewall section which I'll show you this will be going to add a port called 8080 within an inbound firewall rule of windows click next install so the installation is quite simple as simple as what we have in Linux versions click finish and this will be going to launch your local host on port 8080 this will take bit of time so why it's not starting up for that let's see services because it creates services for uh, windows let's wait for that and search for Jenkins okay it's running now if you refresh it this will show you the dashboard the beginning of the dashboard where you try to configure your admin credentials there we go perfect so the first password the initial admin password is stored within this initial admin password file for that let's navigate to this path so let me go here Jenkins no result found why is that so here we have Jenkins, Jenkins, Inside Secrets. We have initial admin password. Let's try to open this with Notepad. Click OK. That's the admin password, the initial admin password. Copy this, close it, and paste it over here. Click Continue. Now again, it's the same graphical user interface where you want to install the suggested plugins or you want to install the selected plugins as per your requirement. I'm going with the suggested plugin and you can see the Jenkins version is 2.277. So click on install suggested plugins. Another part is like, if you want to see all the logs, what is happening with the Jenkins, like error logs, success logs, you can go to C program files under Jenkins you will see all the error logs and everything right so if something failed out you will see in the error logs what is the output coming over here so if I click on the error log here we go everything is showing over here and there is another way to find out the password is in this file it's the same password that we copied from the initial password file okay so it's all information it's it's uh, writing down all the information within this file all the logging information okay now this will be going to take oh all the suggested plugin has been installed now the first admin user that we have to create so let's give this as admin a simple password which I can remember okay I'll give first name as admin as well and the ID test ID save and continue password didn't match okay let me place it again save and continue password didn't match okay some typos there Okay, save and continue. Still, why is that? Test one, two, three, four. Okay, test one, two, three, four. That's the admin first name. That's password, save and continue. Yep. Now, here 
you can change the URL, right? By default, you get local host port 8080. Now, if you if I want to change it later, we can do that while going to configure Jenkins. So as of now, I'm going to keep it as it is local host and I'll show you how from where you can change like if you want to give a custom domain name or the public IP address or private IP address, you can do that. Save and finish. Start using your Jenkins. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, it's running with a local host port 8080. And again, as I said, you can change the local host to certain different IP address or domain name from where. So for that, go to manage Jenkins, configure system. So you, you will be going to get all the options like how you can configure the job, the rest all steps remain same while doing the CI CD process. It's just the flavor of uh, operating system is different. Now here it says, please set the valid host name instead of local host. Okay. Now I want to run this with my public IP address. So let me go to my AWS management console and try to hit on port 8080. Let's see. Okay port 8080 will this work or not as of now i don't know so as you can see it's not working actually why it is not working because we have a port 8080 appended over here right so first of all we have to check whether port 8080 is open in our security firewall or not so for that let's go to ec2 security that's the security group we have. Okay, so we have only one rule defined, which is RDP across all over the world. So let me do an inbound. Create a custom rule, custom TCP, which is port 8080. That's for Jenkins. And I'm going to give or I'll open it from my IP. Okay. Click save. Perfect. Let's try to hit. It's automatically refreshed and you can see we have our Jenkins dashboard. And if you log in from and here we go, we have a dashboard for Jenkins. If you go to Jenkins, manage Jenkins, configure your system. It appears that your reverse proxy set has been broken, which is fine for this video tutorial. Just want to cover up how you can make this happen on Windows platform. So the URL, you can copy the public IP, paste it over here and save it. So that's the location from where you can now as you can also see after setting up the public ip the valid host from local host to my public ip the error has been gone the proxy error basically come on perfect so this has been sorted out one more thing which i want to show you before uh, completing this video tutorial if I go to my firewall, because we selected an option while installing uh, our Jenkins, should it include the firewall rules or not? We said yes, and that's the firewall rule for Jenkins port 8080 and program is set it at Java bin JDK bin java.exe. If you set this wrong, then you won't be able to hit your Jenkins environment from outside the world. Okay, so it will only work within your local system. So I hope this clears a lot in terms of how you can use Windows platform to configure your Jenkins to set up your Jenkins environment, how you can do the installation of Java, JDK and JRE, how you can do the system variable setup and all those stuff. One more thing, if you want to see the version of Java, you can go to command prompt type Java hyphen version and it will show you the version. Sorry, it's Java version. 
you don't have to navigate to the particular location because we have set the variable path in our system variable environment variable so you can run it the java version from any location and that's the version that we are running with 1.8.0 .8 to 8.1 okay so yeah just try it out on your account try to play around your jenkins if you are working heavily on the windows platform place out a comment in comment section and i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye, -bye.